we live here, myself, my son, and my husband. And we work right next door in our little workshop. I'm Deborah. I live with my family in a 400 square foot house. You may remember it as the 320 square foot house. You walk immediately into the living room and kitchen area. I remember feeling mixed in my emotions. Sometimes I was really unsure if this was the right thing to do, to move into this small house with my husband and my teenage son. But for the most part, we were really excited. We knew this is what we needed to do. We live in a home that is paid off. We have no mortgage. This converts into a guest bed. And we're ready for a mattress. I'm not focusing on what I don't have. I've got everything I need right here. Our pantry is right here. We have our coffee maker in the corner, our microwave, all our food. There's more food down there in the bottom. We've been in our home now for almost, well, we're going on three years. And I'm very happy, and so is the rest of my family. But we had two problems that needed to be addressed. When we had the house built, I had planned for the bathroom stall to have a door on it. It didn't turn out. It wasn't feasible. The, it was too narrow, so we couldn't have put a door on it. So then we had to regroup. So before we remodeled, our bathroom stall was over here. This is now my closet where I keep my clothes. And then the shower is on this side. We actually moved the bathroom and, well, we're fine. You can remodel a small house just like you can a big one. It just doesn't cost nearly as much. So we were able to move the bathroom to a new area for about $100 in materials. It's tiny, but it works just fine for us. We have everything we need. And we were able to make this big closet. If you remember, it was a big walk-in closet. We were actually able to make it into two compartments. And so the bathroom stall is on this side. And this is now my son's walk-in closet. It's all his own. And then for my son's room, obviously it was a, a sleeping loft. That's my child's room. In the summer we plan on raising his roof. Right now it's just a loft. It worked fine for him to sleep in, but we knew long term he really needed to have a room like any other kid. You ready in there, huh? My brother-in-law actually is the one who spearheaded the effort to uh, remodel his bedroom. So the roof is coming off. I'm getting ready to raise up his walls. So as soon as we were able to, we had gotten together enough materials. <laughs> so they're building the side walls. And when these are finished, they've cut the roof loose. And they'll just be lifting the roof up and inserting the side walls. And we see daylight. Max's room will soon be a tall room. He'll have two windows, one on each side as a fire escape. I'm so happy. Okay. Yep. Oh my God. They're lifting the roof. So who's standing okay. there up? Uh, don't drop it. Okay. Somebody <laughs> grab Oh, I'll get them. I'll get them. Hold on. We really wanted to use as much recycled materials as possible. We were able to actually cut the roof off and just lift it up into place. <laughs> My brother-in-law thought of that. He's quite ingenious. How does it feel? Oh, holy oh, oh, yeah. It's frightening. <laughs> I'm petrified. <laughs> okay. All right, if things start to fall, just hit the floor, Ryan. Yeah. And then the walls were pre-built and they were slipped up into place and then we were just able to close it up. We had height constraints. We knew that Someday if we wanted to move the house, we would have to stay under a certain height, and we were able to do that. This is not for the faint of heart. This is how my son gets up and down from his room, and he loves it. He says it's like living in a clubhouse. And it's one of the ways that you can have a room up on a second floor of a small house. Remodeling his room. And that cost us about $700 in materials, and it was very worth it. 
We were hoping that he would be able to stand up, and he can. He can now stand up in his room. It's his space, and he's very pleased with it. Now he has two windows, and he has an escape ladder. It's really more than we'd hoped for. I remember one of the comments that he made after his room was finished. I told him, Max, you have a cool room now, don't you? And he shook his head and he said, no. He said, Mom, I had a cool room. I have an upgrade now. And I felt really proud at that moment. That's uh, a lesson that you really hope to instill in your child, that of thankfulness and gratefulness. <laughs> I only have 29 steps to get to work. Okay, 29 feet. I'll take you there. We only have one car since we both work here. And we rarely use that, use our car now that we depend solely on our at-home business. I love walking down my little pathway. Moving into our small house was also a solution to my husband having lost his job. We make baby gifts and accessories. This enables me to work from home and my husband to work from home. Unemployed persons of his age are finding it impossible to get back into the workforce. And we understood that to be able to live off our small business income, we had to trim the fat quickly. Those are the correct colors, right? Hot pink and right. light pink swirl. Mm -hmm. right. So our business is much smaller now. We turn out less than a fourth of the product that we used to but we're much more profitable, and so we have less stress. We get to choose our own hours, and we can generally get the physical part of our work done within two to three days. That means the rest of the time can be spent working on new designs, creating. I enjoy my work a lot more now that we're smaller. Our bedroom has pretty much stayed the same, but in his house this small, any little change is a big deal. Um, we're now able to actually walk around the bed so we can get out the door. If you'll remember, we had a dresser over here, which was the best stick of furniture that we own, and I gave that to my son. It's now permanently entombed upstairs in his room. And we built this closet to take its place. I used to think everyone could do this, I, but it took us about five years to simplify, to get to this point. And we've been in our house, we're going on three years. So this is a dumpster that I find. I found this door, there was a store in town that was remodeling, and they had thrown this door away. And I brought it home, put some trim on it, painted it, and attached it to a frame. And now I have a place for my stuff. Just gives us a little extra room in our small house. I don't think any, just anybody could do this or that everybody could do this. It's really a state of mind. We had to have a strong reason to want to do this. And um, I have to say part of the reason why we were forced into it is economics. In my kitchen I was able to upgrade. I have a neighbor who actually has a granite factory. He has what they call a boneyard. For $50, I have a real granite kitchen countertop. And then these were left over from my big house. It's just a nice little upgrade, but it didn't cost me anything. So also new to the kitchen is a dishwasher. Yes, believe it or not, I have a dishwasher. I had to build these cabinets to accommodate it, but I found one on Craigslist for $40. There again, I don't like spending a lot of money on my little house. Now that we have a choice of actually leaving, we could leave if we wanted. We actually had the opportunity to buy a larger home. It wasn't very big. It was 900 square feet and it came with seven acres. And it sounded like a lot of fun, but at the last minute, we just couldn't pull the trigger. Once you get into a larger home, then you have to think about purchasing furnishings. Then you have to insure it, clean it, care for it, mow all that lawn. And I just, I don't want to do that. I'm really happy with where we are now.
I don't know if everybody could make this decision. I highly recommend it. I sleep every night really, really good. We never discuss money. It's not a topic that comes up. Our life is much more peaceful now. I've learned to cultivate contentment. I'm not always thinking about what I want to buy next or how I can increase my earnings. I'm content. I'm very happy and there's a lot to be said for that.